Hi everyone. My name is Lokesh Sirvi, and in this presentation, we are going to take a look at uh, Audi Q3 car model, which is made by me, or we can say designed or rendered everything uh, as a final project. So before going to some definitions and model details, first have a look on the points which will be covered. First, I will talk about the abstract and a brief introduction of 3D modeling and Audi Q3 model. Then we will look at uh, model parts and assembly, and I will conclude this PPT with rendered images and scope of the project. So let's begin with the abstract. Abstract conveys the information about the points and details about which we are going to revolve throughout the PPT. The main purpose of the project is to apply the knowledge uh, we got through the SOLIDWORKS course. I chose a car model because I thought it will give me some challenges in terms of curvature and, and some intricate surfaces. And it would be nice to test your uh, my knowledge as well. That's why I chose. 3D modeling has become very easy due to software and innovation will drag it to the paperless in the future. Now look at the introduction of 3D modeling and of Audi Q3 car as well. 3D modeling is a representation of something like a bike, engine, a volcano, it could be anything. The modeling has various applications like consider a motor car. It has hundreds of components and each component can be modeled separately. It can be analyzed in terms of performance and appearance as well. Uh, now look at some introduction about the Audi 3 uh, Q3 car. Audi Q3 is a five-seater SUV, which is manufactured by German company Audi. The production of uh, Q3 started in 2011. Since then, Audi has launched many variants of it. Moving further to methodology. Uh, at first, we are, uh, I set the blueprints with the proper scale and transparency in the required planes. After it, draw sketches, uh, which will be limited to their planes, means 2D planes. And we have to use projected curves feature to convert them into 3D. We can also uh, use 3D sketch feature to draw in uh, 3D directly, but it would be difficult to handle. So after completing that surfaces and all, uh, after it, uh, knitting surface will integrate all the surfaces into a single unit with removing gaps. So I made the surface model first and then converted into solid body from and, and used some solid modeling features after it. Uh, and after we can assemble the whole parts in solid work assembly and then we can use photo view 360 and SOLIDWORKS visualization to render win some photos. I used both uh, the features to render photos. We will see in upcoming slides. Now look at the model parts. First one is a brake caliper. It is essential to your car's ability to stop and arguably it is the, one of the most uh, important part of automobile braking system. Most cars today have discs uh, brake like to uh, excellent performances because they we can use also drum brakes and air brakes, but it is used most today. Uh, brake calipers squeezes the brake pads against the surfaces of the brake rotor to slow or stop the vehicle. Boss extrude, cut extrude, and fillet features is used to model this part. Moving next uh, to next part, next part is rotor. The brake rotor is a and disc connected to the tire hub that is used in a disc brake assembly. Boss extrude, cut extrude, and circular pattern is used to model this part. Moving to the next part, rim and tire. Rim and tire is integrated together in my model. Actually, I made like it and the wheel is a circular object which is capable of turning an on an axle so it will rotate on axle tire is a ring shaped component surrounds a wheels rim to transfer load 
uh, from axle to ground through wheel. Now, boss extrude, cut extrude, and circular pattern, dome, and revolve is used to model this part. Moving to the next one, vehicle body. So the most complex part of the project. The boss extrude, cut extrude, cut revolve, and cut pattern dome are most likely used in this. Now, vehicle body accommodates all other components. It has this sloping or uh, truncate rear roof line. So that's why it is called as a cope car. Uh, moving to the next slide in wheel assembly. Rotor, caliper, and rim tire and are assembled together with coincident and concentric uh, mates uh, mostly. Moving to the next slide. It's a vehicle assembly. In a, a vehicle assembly, coincident and concentric mates is used. Two tires is attached to uh, separately to axles first, and then they are mirrored about the mid plane. Moving to the next part of PPT, it's a isometric view of the assembled model and its a rendering. Now, rendering it is a process of generating a photorealistic image by means of computer software. I used both PhotoView 360 and SolidWorks visualization to render images. First image is rendered with the three point base environment in photo with 360. Moving to the next image. Uh, for the second image, I used Sungai bridge environment with the nice smooth black color for the model. In the third image, third image is rendered with the studio room environment with the floor reflection. And in the fourth image rendered with the uh, SOLIDWORKS visualization with the dam road environment with the smooth white color. Moving further on the project scope, 3D modeling and mapping size is expected to grow from 3.2 billion US dollars in 2019 to 6.5 billion USD by 2023, with a compound annual growth rate at 18%. Automobile sector have significant role in it. In India, over 26 million vehicles being manufactured in financial year 20, and automobile export reaches around 5 million vehicles in financial year 20, with a significant growth rate of 7%. Now, EV sales witnesses a growth of 20% and reduces reaches around uh, 1.5 lakh, uh, lakh units in financial 20. These figures reveal the exciting opportunities in the area of design. Apart from uh, the figures, we can consider two another reasons for the future of automobile design. First, uh, innovation comes from the younger generation. The average population in India is pretty young compared to the rest of the world. And second reason is the context of mega cities and urban development which is unique and would require a very specific transportation system. So automobile design has bright future. Moving further to the conclusion part, it's been exciting journey through the course and project. I got something to almost everything and now I am able to take exciting challenges. I acquired the knowledge about modeling and rendering which helps me uh, a lot to create this model and journey has begun to step in the automobile design world. Uh, next slide tells about the some references of which I used and that's it for this PPT.